Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about the new Busy Art Golden Hour palette. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on this palette, just keep watching. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. I upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. Getting content pretty often, because we're all friends here and I love talking to my friends all the time, then you definitely want to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Now, without further blabbering, let's get into the video. So, you guys, I kind of have been following Stephanie Nicole's review checklist. I think it's a really genius idea. I don't know why I didn't think of it myself. Usually I do make notes, but I like how she has like a standard set of questions. She kind of notes down with every review that she does. She posted it on her Instagram page, so I copied the questions on my own sheet and now I use it with almost all of my reviews, which it's so, so handy. Helps me gather my thoughts before I come on camera. So I have been talking to you guys on Instagram and a lot of you said you wanted me to review this palette for you guys. Now, this is the Golden Hour eyeshadow palette, like I said, by the brand Viseart. If you haven't heard of them before, they are a French brand and they are sold on Sephora.com as well as Beautylish. I do own some of their palettes. I own three of their all matte palettes. This is the neutral matte palette, which is the second one I picked up, but I would say this is my most beloved palette by the brand. I can do so many eye looks with this and I love it dearly. This was the one I picked up first, which was the dark mattes. And honestly, my friend Makeup Struggles here on YouTube loves this palette. And I think it works really well with her skin tone. But for me, I'm not really a huge fan of these like jewel tone shades. So these shades are just not my perfect shades. I much prefer the neutral matte palette. I just feel like it works so much better for my skin tone. But I am glad I have this and I love these two shades right here. And then my latest addition apart from the Golden Hour palette is this guy. And I believe this came out the beginning of this year and this is the warm matte palette. Now, as you'll notice, these are all matte palettes and it's because this brand is a professional grade brand, which is why most people, regular people like you and me, had never heard of this brand before, you know, it really became popular on YouTube and they started selling on Sephora. Before that, you could only pick these up from pro websites, I believe, and Muse Beauty Pro, which is, again, caters to pro makeup artists, they also carry the Viseart brand. Now, I love those palettes. I'm glad I have every single one in my collection. Those are $80. They have been coming out with palettes recently, catered to the everyday person, a little bit lower of a price point. Usually they're like in the $30, $40, $50 range, which I think is really wonderful. I personally am not a fan of their shimmer shades for some reason. I just don't like the pigmentation. I feel like I have better shimmer shades from less expensive palettes, so that's why I own all the matte palettes. But for some reason, I got really hyped when I saw that this was launching, so I right away nabbed this when I saw it on sale on Sephora.com. Now, I purchased this on 9-15, which was the launch date, and according to Sephora's website, this is a limited edition palette. It does retail for $49, which to me is basically $50. And shipping is free on Sephora and I believe on Beautylish as well if you spend more than $30. So you will get this free shipping. Now, if you want a discount on this, you can wait until the VIB sale, which is coming up, I believe, next month. Usually it is in November, so you can get 20% off any of the Viseart palettes. But if you have your eye on this one, you can do that as well. Now, according to the palette, the net weight is 0.14 grams or 0.49 ounces. Shade selection on here, there's a very limited amount of shades, um, just nine, which I think is a nice amount. These are definitely everyday friendly shades, and a lot of people have been commenting that this looks a lot like the Makeup Geek palette that Manny and UA collabed on them with. But let's just talk about this palette first. So uh, these shades are basically inspired by the Golden Hour in Paris. And if you watch um, Viseart's owner talk about this palette on Stephanie Nicole's video, she's a fellow YouTuber, 
I will link that video down below. She has a whole interview that she did with Art on their Pro palette, but they do talk a little bit about this palette if you guys are interested. But she said it's basically inspired by that golden hour, that light, that shade selection that seemed like they had put some thought into it versus the water palette or the desert water palette or the desert sunset palette. Like I'm so sick of all these weather pattern related palettes that are coming out. And so I'm kind of glad that they, you know, explained a little more about what this palette was about. So that is the inspiration behind the shades. Now there are nine shades, some matte, some shimmer. Five shimmers, one, two, three, four mattes. So that is the lineup in here. Now I definitely think this is suitable for all skin types. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to wear this depending on your you know, skin tone. So I can't imagine anyone not being able to wear this, but definitely let me know because obviously I only have my skin tone to go off and it does work well with my skin. So I'm basing this review off of my skin tone. So please don't come for me in the comments for saying stuff like that. Now this has a really great shelf life, 36 months, which I think is wonderful. That's three years, guys. On um, these ones, they're 36 months as well. So that is good to know. Like I said, again, these are professional eyeshadow palettes. Well, these ones are. So it's nice that these ones are also gonna last you a while because it is a big investment and I'm actually shocked that the Anastasia Belly Hill palettes only have a six month shelf life. Now, I've had some of those palettes for way longer and I've had no problems with them, but it just blows my mind that they only last for six months. So. Um, ordered this on 9-15, it arrived to my place on September 20th. I don't know if this is vegan or cruelty free. It doesn't say on the box or on Sephora's website. And that is all the digging I did. If you you are cruelty free, I'm not sure if Viseart is cruelty free. I'm sorry. Honestly, Viseart is known for their matte shades, so I think that if you're buying this for your everyday use, I think you're gonna really like this. It's gonna be a really great everyday palette. As far as application, I don't have any problems with the matte shades, but the shimmer shades on this palette, I just have a hard time with. Busy Arts shimmer shades in general. I don't like the formula. I did review their like Theory Minx One palette ages ago and I did end up returning that palette because half the palette was shimmers and I just do not like the Busy Art shimmer formula. So I will link that video up in the cards. If you guys are interested in checking it out, I was actually personally shocked that I don't like their shimmer shades, but I just don't. So it is what it is. That's okay. There's plenty of other eyeshadows in the world. Yeah. Wear time was great. I didn't have any problems with the shadows fading or anything like that. Now I did have a swatch video of this that I did upload when I received this palette. So I will link that up in the cards for you guys if you want to see swatches. I'm not going to do swatches, but I did do some comparison swatches since I had mentioned that a lot of people were claiming this did look like the Makeup Geek palette in collaboration with Manny MUA. I just wanted to show you guys some side-by-side -side swatches. So all the top shades are the Golden Hour and then the bottom ones are the Makeup Geek ones. Now, as you can see, this red from the Makeup Geek palette is much, much more vibrant. I also really like this shade in the Makeup Geek palette that kind of looks like this gray shade called Royal in the Viseart palette, but this one is that blue-brown pigment shade. So when you actually swatch it, you see it has way more dimension than the Royal shade in the Viseart palette. I also swatched these two next to each other. This is the Makeup Geek shade, which is actually matte, and the shade called Carousel on the Viseart palette actually does have a hint of like a satin finish. So that is the difference there. And then I swatched some of these neutral shades that I thought looked the same. So in the Viseart palette, there is a shade called Honoree, and that is a flat matte, like a peachy one that you can use as a brow bone highlight. On the Makeup Geek side, that is a shimmer, so it's also a really nice brow bone highlight. It just depends on what your preference is. I can still use that shimmer as a highlighter, and I just mix it with Beaches and Cream. So I just mix these two and it creates like my perfect brow bone. It's not too shimmery, not too matte, whereas with the Viseart one, you just get that one matte shade. Some brown shades in the Makeup Geek palette. Um, the only one in the Viseart palette is called Montage, and this is what it looks like in the Makeup Geek palette. I swatched it next to Sora's. Um, that's what I compared it to, but the Makeup Geek palette also has Frappe. These two are great crease shades, so I definitely think the Makeup Geek palette kind of gives you great variety. And then the last two shades I swatched, now this one actually swatched 
really beautifully from the Viseart palette. It's called Dieny, I think. I don't know how to say that. And then this orange shade is from the Mandy palette and it's called Cosmopolitan. So you can see a difference in these two shades. This one's definitely more golden. This one is more peachy. But I just wanted to compare some of the colors that I thought look similar in the pen. Now from the swatches you can see they are not exactly identical, but if you already have the Makeup Geek palette, I really don't think you need this palette. They are almost the same price. I believe this was $50. This one is $49. Is that what I said? This one is $49. So yeah, they're a dollar difference. I don't know if you can still get this. I did see it on the sale, like the broken damage section of the Makeup Geek website which basically means something was wrong with the packaging, it's discounted, but the shadows are fine. It's just something wrong with the packaging is what I understood. I've never actually purchased from that section, but if you guys are curious, go ahead and give it a try because you know, this palette is not available for sale anymore, except for in that section. And honestly, I wore this on my wedding day. I love this palette. Deserted Island status for me. If I was gonna be on a deserted island, I would consider taking this palette with me because I love these shades. They work so well with my skin tone. Million dollar question. Is this palette worth the hype? Would I recommend this to you guys? I think it definitely compares very close to the Manny palette. I think the Manny palette is honestly better. I'm so sorry, Viseart, but I just feel like if you have this palette, you definitely don't need this one. This palette is a great way to get into the Viseart brand if you don't own anything from them. This might be a nice way to start, but honestly, you guys, I went balls to the wall and just picked up one of these bigger palettes, and I love these. If you were to pick up any Vizier palettes, I would highly recommend either of these. Whichever one speaks to you. Now this is of course the sunset trend in a matte palette, but this won't be around for long. This palette I feel like is timeless. I feel like you can use this for endless looks. I feel like you can use this on your brows, you know, your brow bone highlight. You can use this as a bronzer. Like this is a multi-purpose palette and I think it's wonderful. So yeah, I'm gonna stop blabbering about those two, but as far as like in my collection, do I need this? Will I be keeping this? Absolutely not. This palette is going back. I really feel like I just fell for the hype and picked it up way too fast. And I'm really bummed about it. I'm really bummed that I didn't like it, but I just feel like they wasted a ton of space with this palette. They made it so big. They tried so hard with the presentation, but these pan sizes are so sad. And honestly, for $30 more, you can get way more product. This palette contains 0.84 ounces in each pan, which is double the size of these eyeshadows. So for 30 bucks more, you get 12 versus the nine in here. And I don't know, I could go on about this all day, but I'm returning this palette. I would recommend this if you don't have any Visart shadows and you want to try the brand out, but make sure you're into these colors because for me, compared to the Makeup Geek palette, the Visart palette is pretty luster. And guys, please understand, I love this brand, but I can't in good conscience just recommend things to you based off of my love for the brand. Do they have other good products? Of course they do, but this is not it. So anyways, I'm gonna stop yammering. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if I missed anything down in the comments. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye guys.